Hello and good morning. Why am I smiling alone? I'm still alive. A throbbing life. Just as yours. Just as everybody else's. But remember, we have been talking about a virus. The media has been glorifying the virus because there was a looming election on the planet that determines the lives of everybody, it seems. The every nation has been eagerly waiting for the results. Whilst there's a process to take place for the results to settle down, the media, the academia, the pundits, the social gurus, social media gurus, the influencers, everybody is now involved. It seems everybody is talking about politics. I have no academic background, as you can see, no books. I have a very small place to exist without impacting on earth. I don't read textbooks and scriptures to determine my life. I will awaken to a sensitive, sensitive approach to life and I do what is relevant for every life to throb within and thrive in this existence. A brief pop-up of a life to exist. As a human being, we have been the most virulent on this planet. From the way we conduct ourselves with the greedy power struggles and greedy attributes to life, the way we have conducted on this planet, there is no other virus, no other creature that is more crippling the living than a human being. For millennia, for centuries, the human being has been heavy-handed and heavy-footed on this earth and has compromised the very life of you and me and everyone else. The scriptures have written down in a certain way that this place is a hell on earth and that somewhere else is a better place. A convoluted, twisted idea that has been sent down from above for so long is causing tremendous harm and tremendous suffering for humanity and life. The idea that humans are here are only here and forgetting about every other life is the most convoluted and most blinded limited knowledge that human beings have received on this earth. On this Sunday, the day of reflecting on our conduct of the week, on this Sunday where you should be contemplating and be in a spiritual manner. I wanted to share this. As I walk the earth, I see the wounds that exist on the earth. I see the wounds on the sidewalks. I see the terrible and painful sight of our destructive powers to destroy the planet that we all share and live and that gets supported for our existence. Yet, nobody, nobody seems to see this. They are in this tiny little bubbles of self-created, selfish, self-motivated, limited identities and going on about talking about inclusiveness. There doesn't seem to be any understanding of what is to be a life and how to conduct 
as a human being. It is a shame on humans to behave in this way. From the land has been turned, the water has been poisoned, the air has been spoiled and poisoned and fouled to a state that none of us can live any longer, it seems. The amount of pollution that is in the water, in the air and on the land is such that our lives sustain and depend wholly on these three elements that support us has been completely fouled and destroyed. Yet our idea about life seems to be politics, money, power, greed, selfish attitude to life. Why are we continuing with this nonsense when you get out and pay attention and recognize the impact and the heavy handedness we have caused on this earth from a pandemic to climate to the environment to the pollution to the plastic to the oceans the destruction of every other life because of human life on this earth is such nobody seems to talk about it everybody is looking up to see where american results are going to end up when you are educated with left and right right and wrong black and white you are simply a problem to yourself you've been you've been given poison you've been given fire you don't know how to use of it remember the fire that you are playing with the poison that you are holding on to thinking that somebody else will be on fire and somebody else will be poisoned is a is a is a short-sighted idea no the two that you are holding on to will destroy you please don't become a virulent a violent unhuman when we are called human being is that we can be we can be without being a destruction to our living destruction to ourselves destruction to the other on this sunday i invite you I don't need to be recognized for anything. I don't need to be rewarded for anything. But what is burning inside me is a sensitive approach to life when I walk across the planet. And I walk thousands and thousands of miles on my own, reflecting, paying attention to life all around me. And it hurts to see what am I going to leave for my children? what am i going to leave for the next generation what am i leaving behind am i leaving a less than what i am as a human being this cannot be this cannot be accepted as normal this cannot be an evolved human being's responsibility on this earth when we come here please let's pay attention to every life and recognize and waken ourselves to a more conscious gentler approach to the way we live on this earth thank you and may your life be a a phenomenal and a profound one for you to arrive in a better place than you imagine or you you've been told it has to be walked the distance for you to know in this living experience remind yourself a gentler approach to life will show you a profoundness and a more phenomenal 
existence as a human being.